Imagine a world where giant reptilian creatures roam the land, each one a fierce predator in its own right. It's a world filled with danger and excitement where every step could bring you face to face with a creature that's bigger and more terrifying than anything you've ever seen before. In this world, there's one creature that stands out above the rest, a predator so fearsome that it's been called the Emperor of the Triassic Crocodilians. Well, it's none other than Postosuchus, an extinct genus of Rysuchid reptiles that lived in now what is North America during the late Triassic. If you were to come face to face with Postosuchus, the first thing that would strike you is its sheer size, with adults reaching up to 5 meters in length from snout to tail tip and weighing in at a whopping 250 to 450 kilograms. But it was more than just big, it was also built like a tank. Its massive skull was adorned with dagger-like teeth that could slice through flesh and bone with ease. Its skull was a work of natural art measuring 55 centimeters long and 21 centimeters wide and deep. With many fenestrae, it was both strong and lightweight. Large orbits supported sharp eyes and elongated nostrils provided a powerful sense of smell. Its fearsome jaws contained over 30 sharp, serrated teeth, including hooked sabers, while heterodonty dentition ensured each tooth was different. Replacement teeth grew until resorption was complete, making them always sharp. A complete tooth found in North Carolina measured 7.2 centimeters in height. The Postosuka skull was a deadly weapon, fitting for the emperor of the Triassic crocodilians. And its neck was elongated, leading to a short torso and a long, powerful tail that could deliver devastating blows to its prey. But it wasn't just its size and strength that made it such a formidable predator. It also had a suit of armor to protect itself from attack. Thick, bony plates called osteoderms covered its back, neck, and possibly even its tail, providing an extra layer of defense against other predators. The backbone of Postosuchus was also an impressive feat of evolution. Its neck consisted of at least eight cervical vertebrae followed by 16 dorsals, while four co-ossified sacral vertebrae supported its hips, and its ribcage was composed of large, slender, and curved ribs, a typical feature of archosaurs. Let's take a closer look at Postosuchus's limbs and posture, the key to its success as a predator. Its forelimbs were relatively small compared to its hind limbs. With hands that had five toes and only the first toe bore a large claw, which it used to attack its prey. The forelimbs were robust and muscular, suggesting they were used to hold down prey while Postosuchus delivered the fatal blow with its jaws. But what about its posture? There has been some debate over whether it was mainly bipedal or quadrupedal with some scientists arguing that it walked on two legs like a theropod dinosaur, while others believed it was more like a modern crocodile walking on all fours. One theory suggests that it was capable of walking upright on two legs, with the short forelimbs only used during slow locomotion. This would have given it a more intimidating appearance, making it easier to scare off potential threats and impress potential mates. A major study of Postosuchus's skeletal structure concluded that it may have been an obligate biped, based on evidence from the anatomy of the digits, vertebrae, and pelvis. The proportions of the limbs and weight-bearing sections of the spine were very similar to many theropod dinosaurs, nearly all of which are thought to have been strictly bipedal. However, recent research has suggested that the manus, aka hand of Postosuchus, had several load-bearing adaptations which supports the view that its forelimbs were used for support during movement. This means that it may have walked on two legs but also used its hands for balance and support. Its fossils were discovered in 1980, when a team of paleontologists from the Texas Tech University embarked on a mission to explore a new geological site near Post Garza County, Texas, in search of fossils. Little did they know they were about to uncover a treasure trove of prehistoric remains that would rewrite the history of the late Triassic period. As they dug deeper into the Cooper Canyon formation of the Dockham Group, they stumbled upon a dozen well-preserved specimens that belonged to a previously unknown species of Rysuchid reptiles. Excavation at the Post Quarry continued for several years, unearthing many more remains of the late Triassic terrestrial fauna, including the apex predator that would later be named Postosuchus. In 1985, paleontologist Sankar Chatterjee described the new genus and its type species, P. Kirkpatricki, based on the holotype which consisted of a well-preserved skull and a partial postcranial skeleton along with other findings. 
The species was named after Mr. and Mrs. Jack Kirkpatrick, who had assisted Chatterjee during his field work. But the discovery didn't end there. Over the years, additional specimens were found, some of which were reassigned to other genera. In 2008, a new species of Postosuchus was described by Peter et al. This species, P. alisoni, was discovered in Triangle Brick County Quarry, Durham County, North Carolina, by two undergrad students in 1992. Its skeleton consisted of several cranial bones, vertebrae, ribs, gastralia, chevrons, bony scutes, most of the shoulder and hind limbs, and pieces from the hip. The remains of P. alisoni shed new light on parts of Postosuchus's anatomy that were previously unknown, confirming a theory that associated fossils belonged to different animals. Moreover, the holotype specimen of P. alisoni is unique in preserving gut contents, including bones from at least four other animals. The discovery was nothing short of groundbreaking, as it represented the large Sukian reptile recovered from the quarry and the first articulated specimen of a Rashukian archosaur found in eastern North America. They used to live in a tropical environment filled with lush plant life and an abundance of diverse animal species. The region was home to a variety of ferns, gymnosperms, and cycads, which provided a perfect hunting ground for Postosuchus and its prey. Despite the lack of well-preserved plant fossils from this time, researchers have been able to glean some information about the climate and environment of the Dokum group during the late Triassic period. The presence of large specimens of Arakaryozylon suggests that the region was well watered, while the discovery of fish fossils such as Xenacanthus, Chinlia, and Ceridotus indicate that there were lakes and rivers in the area. On the shores of these bodies of water, creatures such as Labyrinthodonts, Malarisaurus, and Trilophosaurus made their homes. Meanwhile, Postosuchus lived in the uplands along with Colophilus and other archosaurs like Desmatosuchus and Typothorax. It was one of the largest animals in the ecosystem and was a top predator preying on herbivores such as Trilophosaurus, Typothorax, and Placerius. Despite its position as an apex predator, Postosuchus had to constantly be on guard against other threats. It shared its environment with a variety of other reptiles, including Nicrosaurus, Rutiodon, and Leptosuchus, which likely competed with Postosuchus for resources. Well, they may have gone extinct millions of years ago, but that doesn't stop this prehistoric predator from appearing in modern pop culture. From documentaries to video games, this emperor of the Triassic crocodilians continues to captivate audiences with its fearsome reputation. In the animated PBS documentary The Dinosaurs, Postosuchus makes an appearance in all its bony glory. A skeleton of this ancient predator is showcased in all its splendor, giving viewers a glimpse into what this creature might have looked like in its prime. But it's not just documentaries that feature Postosuchus. This prehistoric predator has also made its way into the world of video games. In the popular video game Turok, players come face to face with creatures called lurkers that bear a striking resemblance to Postosuchus. With their cat-like abilities and sharp teeth, these virtual predators are sure to give players a thrill. Postosuchus also appears in the IMAX documentary film Dinosaurs Alive. Here, it is seen resting on a log before spotting a group of Colophses. In a dramatic turn of events, the Postosuchus attacks the smaller dinosaurs before being swept away by a flash flood. The scene is a powerful reminder of the brutal and unforgiving world in which this predator lived. But what about Postosuchus's appearance in the Jurassic World franchise? Despite being a terrestrial reptile, it has made an appearance in both Jurassic World The Game and Jurassic World Alive as a rare amphibian. Its inclusion in these games is a testament to its enduring popularity and fascination for fans of all ages. While Postosuchus may no longer roam the earth, its presence in pop culture is a reminder of just how awe-inspiring this ancient predator truly was. From its powerful jaws to its massive size, it's no wonder that this emperor of the Triassic crocodilians continues to capture our imaginations today. And if you're into cool stuff like this, make sure to click on the like and subscribe buttons below. By learning about Postosuchus and other prehistoric animals, we get a better idea of just how diverse and complicated life on Earth really is. And if you're curious about other prehistoric animals and want to know more about them, then you should definitely click the video on your screen right now. We'll tell you everything you need to know about this fascinating topic and help you deepen your understanding of these incredible creatures.